Hi, I'm Darren Scott. I'm happy to introduce our new video series, Good Klingle Professional, GCP. Please join us in a conversation with Dr. Penny Manasco when she shares her passion for risk-based monitoring and clinical research. Hi, I'm Penny Manasco. Um, I am the CEO of Mana Consulting, and um, I have been in the pharmaceutical industry for more years, more than 25 years. I'm unusual in that I'm a physician that went to medical school specifically to do clinical research. What the FDA and EMA say is that it's got to be part of an entire quality by design approach and that you really need to step back and look at the high risk areas, the areas of patient safety, the areas of good clinical practice and of, you know, trial conduct. And those are where we need to spend our time. Basically, if the monitor goes out every six weeks, they prepare, the monitor reviews all the information prior to the monitoring visit. If you don't do those monitoring visits, you still are spending time doing that review on a regular basis. So let's just say instead of going to the site every four to six, you're going to go every 12 weeks. Yeah. You're still going to have to plan time. So you could say, oh, I'm saving that whole time of that monitoring visit because now I'm only going every 12 weeks. But yeah. what you need to think about is, but I'm still gonna be looking at each of the sites, you know, frequently. And mm -hmm. so you need to make sure that you're thinking about the time that you're spending remotely to do that review and not just um, tie it to a monitoring visit. So the sites do worry, you know, how are you going to look at how I'm doing if you're not here every four to six weeks, if you're not doing this SDV. Yeah. And what we have to teach them and what we have to teach as, as in the industry is, th is to explain to them, this is what I'm gonna look at, this is what I'm doing, and I'm checking behind you, and I'm not just checking on SDV, I'm checking your informed consents, I'm checking at your rate of premature discontinuations, I'm checking your rate of deviations, all of these things, and then together they're telling me how well you're doing. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure that you're thinking about, okay, why did that mistake happen? Mm -hmm. You know, so that, and is it happening just at my one site? Is it happening at all my sites? And if we yeah. can make improvements mm -hmm. in the way we think about it, everybody wins. So whether it's, you know, identifying, you know, uh, dosing errors, whether it's identifying that, you know, that the site isn't doing the study right, all of those things help you to get your study done um, where you can use all the data and every one of those subjects that generously volunteered, their data is going to count. We are starting um, both online training and we're going to begin to, we're trying to figure out where to do um, in-person training. So we've, we've got a, um, it's about a 40 hour training program with lots of activities and so that we can go through how do you identify where the high risk areas are, how are you, how can you assess them, how can you, um, you know, learning how to evaluate and interpret data, how, what kinds of things you need to know about technology, all of those competencies. So we're, we're, um, we're offering training now and we'll be continuing to do that. So become empowered. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the ClinOps Toolkit YouTube channel for more videos.